So the last 24 hours isn't necessarily what you like to see in the crypto market, unless you're looking for opportunity. There's a bunch of it throughout the space, a bunch of opportunity in terms of ADA. And I want to talk about something specific I've noticed with ADA here over this last 24 hours that people might be missing. I'm Luxide. Welcome to the channel. If you guys haven't already, if you're new, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. Hit that bell again. It's free to do. It'll keep you updated anytime there's new content live here on the channel. So obviously, these last couple of days in terms of ADA, not, not great. We basically erased all the pump that we had over the prior week. And the interesting thing about this is when we look throughout the space, this is happening in most assets right now. Unfortunately, when you start to get into geo geopolitical events, it, it's it really takes a toll on the market. And I saw somebody talk about, oh, yeah, isn't crypto supposed to be resilient against these things? And yes and no, right? We're, we're eventually we're trying to work to a, a point where we're a good hedge against uh, the U.S. dollar and, and devaluation there. But the problem is, is right now we're in a market that's deep in its infancy. So when these events take place, we're going to see uh, a reaction from the market. Retail, unfortunately, is a little immature and you you tend to see these things. We've seen these things time and time again, right? That's just, that's unfortunately the way it is right now. And of course, with uh, Israel moving into Lebanon yesterday, Iran decided, hey, we're going to finally do our response in a, in a uh, or we're going to do our response to the killings of the Hezbollah chief and the Hamas political leader. So this is kind of that two month wait and decide what we're going to do process from Iran in general. Now, the this ballistic missile attack by Iran was pretty successful. I saw a bunch of videos. I saw uh, lots of reports of, of, you know, missiles actually hitting Israel. And what I have to say is this is, you know, we need de-escalation. We need both of these both of these countries to just take a chill pill. All right. Now, Israel has vowed to respond to Iran, and it's a question of what they decide to do when they decide to do it. Unfortunately, um, our, there are some leaders here in a very near location that are uh, supporting this. And I think we all just need to relax. We need to chill. We all need to just get along. It's really not that hard. Just chill and buy crypto. Right. How? How difficult is that to do? Now, what's good about this, guys, is that Iran has actually stressed that they are not interested in uh, escalating to to broader war. All right. Now, the uh, whether that's true or not, we don't know. But that is at least a good sign. They're mostly focused on this conflict that they have with Israel right now. So let's let's just keep it that way. Either go away completely or let's just keep it that way. Now, what I will say is this, is yes, the market reacted very heavily. BTC, unfortunately, was the big boat anchor that that drug everything down yesterday. Unfortunately, when BTC starts losing, you know, 5%, 4%, you're going to see alts get impacted in a much bigger way. And that's what we saw from ADA. ADA moved about uh, 8% on the day. And this is kind of in that, you know, 8 to 10% range that we saw across most of the space. It sucked. It is what it is. But what the interesting thing about this is, is you might think that this is, you know, large entities um, dumping large, large holders of ADA unloading their bags. And it really wasn't that at all. In fact, when we look at the data, the net flows yesterday were very, very small, only a 4.78 million outflow day in terms of large holders. So what you saw was a lot of retail capitulation. You saw a lot of retail holders just dumping their bags. Oh, it's, it's going to escalate. It's going to get bad. And I, I have to remind people that we have seen this take place time and time again. We have seen these days where things have gotten kind of bad abroad. And then we spike right out of them. All right. Now, this isn't a guarantee. This isn't financial advice. Nobody knows what's going to happen this time. Right. But we've seen this play out almost the exact same way. A couple days of dump on this on news like this. And then a spike right after. A nice climb in price. A nice opportunity to accumulate low people are doing that and then price begins to take off so we'll just have to be patient wait and see hopefully there's no escalations that come i'd love for this all to just chill and relax and, and frankly i've seen a lot of people talking uh, about you know now october is dead we're not gonna make headway guys it's october 2nd like let's let's calm down here let's be mature i know some people might just try to be trying to be funny the last market cycle didn't even start to move until October 15th. All right, we're still we're still 2 weeks away from that. 
We got a lot of time in October, and we just need to be patient, let things kind of calm down, let confidence re-enter the market. And that should be coming as long as no escalations happen. So I appreciate you guys as always. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know your thoughts below. Did you guys freak out and dump yesterday? Are you holding strong to your positions? I still have my longs open. Haven't touched any of my bags. I'm just patiently waiting for this to all play out. Appreciate you guys. Have a great day. Show your love below. Catch you guys in the next one. Take care.